my little thing in my life and when I was a kid. I remember a place called Cheap John's when I was a kid. My mom used to take me in. We used to get 25 cent to 35 cent candy bars. My mom always loved Mars bars. I didn't like it when I was a kid, but I used to, I liked it when I turned 14, 13. I thought Mars bars were delicious. But as a kid, I liked M&M's. Like any other kid probably likes M&M's. And we went into Cheap John's. Always a fun place to go into. I remember... I'm old enough to remember we used to get film developed there. Remember film? Remember you put it in a camera and then you took pictures and then you went to uh, a discount store where you are, ours were Cheap John's, and we spent, I don't know, fifteen, ten dollars just to develop a roll of film? I remember that. I remember going to Universal Studios. I remember going to Disney. And we used to carry film with us. Universal Studios and Disney used to sell Kodak film in Disney. And I think it was Fuji film in Universal Studios. I think Fuji was at Universal and Kodak was at Disney. And my mom used to spend tons of money on film. And that's what she loved. She loved taking pictures of family outings. Now it's all digital. We do it on our phones. We have digital cameras. We have camcorders that can take pictures as well. We had camcorders back then. We had um, Hi8, I think it was a Hi8 definition, a Hi8 uh, film. We had RCA that took a VHS. And we... Actually, I have an old Hi8 video camera myself. I got it from, I think, the tw around 2000. They were selling a Hi8 um, um, uh, RCA Hi8 uh, camcorder. And that was my first ever vlogging camcorder. It's the most funniest thing. It was my first ever... Vlogging camera. It's sitting right up on that shelf. I can see it sitting right there. High and mighty. And I need to get another battery for it. That was my go-to camera for vlogging back in the uh, 2000 to 2001. That was my go-to camera. And uh, it was just amazing. I thought it was so cool. I thought I was a filmmaker. <laughs> I took um, video production. Uh, I was a, I was a stagecraft all my life, but our teacher wanted us to do video production. You know, just to you know, so everyone could do it. And uh, there was one kid. I'm not gonna say names because I like to keep my friends and all the people I hung out with. You know, I just want to keep them. You know, don't want people to know. But uh, if you're they're probably listening to me speak now, but. There was one kid that did not go to video production. He kind of got his way with the teacher saying, I'm not going to video production, and that's it. The kind of situation. And, uh, and the teacher let him. And, uh, well, he, you know, it was just the time frame. So I took my video production class because I basically had to. I had a fun time, though. <laughs> it brings me, it brings me back to the time, um... I, I always carried a Gerber with me. You see, this is how old I am. I had a Gerber, and uh, I had a, um, a Letterman. And um, it was the funniest thing, because when I was doing it, you know, the Columbine happened in, uh, I forgot, the 90s or something? I forgot what went in the 90s. But anywho, it was maybe four or three years after that, people were very tense. And they were started, you know, cracking down on people wearing, they call weapons. Mine was a multi-tool. And I was a stagecraft. I was in um, video production. So it had a knife. It had all that stuff. It, it did not fly well with a lot of teachers. So I had to give the Gerber to the teachers. They put it in the drawer. And then when I went to TV production class or stagecraft, I brought it with me. And then I got sat down. Oh, the funniest thing is. <laughs> there was the time I brought a um, 
I brought it because I was I doing stage rigging and I was a fly rail operator. I've been fly rail operator for a long time at the at the auditorium I worked at. And I brought a knife to cut rope, and I had this gigantic, like gigantic knife. And the, the teacher's like, "What is that? A frog sticker?" <laughs> like it, it's gigantic. Everyone like looked and they're like, "No, he ain't gonna carry that with him." <laughs> um, the Gerber, you know, that was just like a weird thing. When I worked for the cruise ships, this is getting out of the '90s, going to the. 2007, when I worked for the cruise ships, I was not allowed to bring a utility tool on board the ship when I was a stagehand. Weird thing, but, uh, you know, I kind of said, I'm a stagehand. I need this stuff, you know, and they're like, okay. Um, you know, it's ridiculous, you know. It was really ridiculous, but I got to carry it on the, the ship. Um, I had to sign some paperwork, but but it was it was it was something, and I took TV production class. I passed with flying colors. Actually, I played with uh, RCA um, nostalgic. Um, it was a nostalgic um, RCA VHS one. That was like '80s in my book, man. It was like an '80s camera. It had the brick uh, battery, the brick battery. You know, it was, it was something. They had the new digital um, camcorder for the advance TV production, but I had, to, we all had to use the VHS, which that brought back lots of memories. So, me, I like, I always loved VHS, to be honest with you, but I, I was, at the time I was angry because everyone got to use digital and I didn't have, I couldn't use digital, but... You know, it, we, we did what we had to do. I think the TV production thing was just to show us that um, they can boss us around kind of situation. Um, it was kind of like, you know, so we knew what TV production went through when they came to the auditorium. And it was vice versa. So, we personally uh, had to go switch roles. But personally, I loved that experience. I learned how to edit. I learned how to uh, VHS edit, which pretty much is obsolete now. So uh, I know how to digital edit. I know how to do all that stuff now. But back then, I didn't even know what I was doing, you know. But I learned, and it was in high school, and it was it was great. Three quarter inch tapes, I think it was, and uh, big tapes. We did the uh, school news every week. It was uh, pretty fun, actually. Every actually every day we did the school news, and then I got to watch the production at uh, second period. It was great. It actually was very, very. I was very happy. I used to like doing the switchboard, technical director. I loved uh, doing the switchboard. That yeah, was like cool. I liked it, and camera work too. I like camera work, so it was the best experience of my life that particular time. 